How do we at the local level, how do we in our municipalities and counties harden ourselves to deter a future conflict with these foreign adversaries? Yes, it's such an important question, Jake, and I'm, I'm glad you're you're so focused on it. Um, look, unlike past conflicts, unlike Iraq and Afghanistan, a potential conflict with China is going to affect all of us. It's not just going to be something that a, a small group of, of patriots fight. Uh, every American is going to be impacted, and that's because that's what the Chinese want. They say in their doctrine and how they think about conflict that they want to broaden conflict to affect everyone. You know, and and us in Oklahoma City, we're not going to be exempted. And that's going to happen in a number of ways. That's going to be uh, cyber attacks on critical infrastructure, things like our water treatment facilities, things like, um, you know, the, the, uh, the government, you know, just the basic operating services of government, where you're going to see websites and, and systems taken down. Uh, you can see utilities, you know, electric utilities taken down, the power grid, um, just, just all the basic infrastructure that we rely on uh, to keep our society going, that's all a target. Um, and so one of the ways in which I think we can be uh, harden ourselves now is by making sure that, you know, one way to deter conflict is to show the potential adversary that we're ready. Um, you know, in addition to these pieces of legislation, Governor Stitt signed an executive order that I was very pleased to work with him on just a couple of months ago. Uh, it was the strongest piece of uh, executive language in anywhere in the country that any governor has signed. One of the things he, he did was he uh, passed, a, he, he, through his executive order, directed the state government to do an assessment of how Oklahoma would be impacted in the event of a conflict with China in, in Asia. And so that's looking at every aspect of our state government and saying, okay, what would happen to the education department? What would happen to the transportation department if the Chinese chose to target us in the event of a conflict? And by thinking about this proactively and asking really difficult questions now in peacetime, I think we'll be able to come up with some some preventative measures to keep Oklahomans safe.